Here are six arrow shafts cleaned up and ready to go. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do a spray paint crown dip. That's kind of a misnomer because I'm not actually dipping the arrow like I would with a wooden arrow. I'm not actually using a dip tube with paint. What this is, is this is spray paint. As you can see, it's still got a nice transition and it looks good. I've also found that, at least for me, plastic spray paints, the uh, plastic compatible spray paints like the Krylon Fusions, bond a lot better than most of the dipping lacquers. I'm probably not using the right thing, but uh, this is pretty popular. I've seen a lot of guys doing this, and it works. It looks nice. It's quick. You can really go crazy with your colors. You can do different colors. So first thing that you're going to do is take some masking tape and actually mask off where you want this to end. You can make this any length. I like about nine and a half inches. That's what I like. You can make them shorter, longer. You can also mask off different areas that you don't want painted now for kind of a banded effect later. You could also go crazy and, you know, tear up pieces and make a camouflage pattern if you really want it. And really, whatever you want to do, you can kind of go nuts here. This is where you can really personalize your arrow. Now we're going to be doing a pretty simple two-color dip. We're going to have the main one color like this, and then the top, we're going to make it a different color, probably white, for a little contrast to make it easier to see in flight. So since I already have an arrow that has the length I want, I'm just going to use this as a measurement rather than actually measure it. And I want to show you what I do here. As you can see where the seam is, or where this end is, I kind of pull up on the tape to bring the tape up and you can see it comes completely over the top of this here. And then I kind of wrap it back and tighten it up. That way there is no seam here, if you can see. There's no visible seam. There's no visible end to the tape. That way when we paint this, it's going to have a nice clean look. And if you chose to then pressed over it, it would look a lot cleaner and a lot more professional. So, that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead, do this to the rest of them, and then we'll start painting. Okay. So here we have our first arrow shaft to be spray painted. As you can see, I have the other arrow shaft sticking out of my target. That's what I like to use to hold arrows when I'm doing this. I like this because I can sort of do it and it's pretty much done. I don't really have to hang it to let it dry. It only takes a few minutes and it's already for the next coat. So what I'm going to be doing is spraying with this color. I, think it, I thought it'd be cool to have some kind of avocado green arrows. So what I normally do is I take a piece of paper like this, fold it in half, crease it, and then roll it over. As long as the paper is sitting on the masking tape, I won't get paint on the rest of the arrow. That way I don't have to tape the whole thing off. And I can just go from this arrow, you know, take it off and go to the next one. So it makes it a little quicker that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray paint this part of the arrow. You want to go in this direction so you're not shooting paint inside of here. If you are going to do that, then you're going to want to take some masking tape and create a little plug on the inside so paint doesn't get in there and ruin your knock fit. And other than that, that's pretty much it. I like to take sort of light, one light coat and then another light coat and that's usually all I need. I don't try to completely cover it all in one go. And again, 
This is Krylon Fusion. This is satin because I prefer the satin look, but you can go gloss if you want. So, here we go. And there's the first coat. So I'm going to do the rest, then I'm going to let it dry and do another coat, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here's the arrow all painted up. Now this is after two coats. Two coats are usually enough. You don't want to go too heavy, or it could just start chipping off. So now what I like to do, and you can see, it's already dry to the touch. It's probably been about 10 minutes or so. So, you just take off the tape, and there you go. Got your nice clean line. Now if all you wanted to do is one color, all you'd need to do is clear coat this and let this dry. Because we're going to be going for another coat, what I like to do is let it dry for at least an hour. That way when you put your, your masking tape on here to mask off the next area, when you take the masking tape off, the paint stays on the arrow and doesn't come off with your masking tape. So, if you're going to be doing what I'm going to be doing, you want to let this dry an hour, maybe longer, depending on how hot and humid it is you can do is every five minutes or so just run your heat gun over it on the low setting just a little bit to help the paint dry but other than that I'll see you guys in about an hour alright it's been an hour and now the paint is dry enough to where we can actually put masking tape on it so this is what we're going for we're going to go for our main color, and then we're going to have the white dip on the top. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to mask off right along this line, and then cover the rest of this. So when we spray paint this, we're just painting the top part white. So, again, this can be any length you want. I usually go for about two and a half inches. You could go longer if you wanted. It's kind of nice if you go maybe halfway into your fletchings, but it really doesn't matter. If you really wanted to get fancy, you could also do a color change in your fletching and actually splice your feathers. And maybe I'll do that on a different video, but it's not something I normally do. But if you guys want to see that, just let me know and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. There's a couple ways and you get some pretty neat results. So basically, We just do what we did when we masked off the bottom here. And I'm just using this other arrow as a reference. Just mask off right there. And I like to do this a little bit lighter than when I do the bottom. And I don't really push down a lot, uh, really hard because even though it's dry enough now where the, the tape shouldn't peel the paint off, it might. And you want to do this fairly quick and remove this as quickly as possible because that all helps the paint from sticking and taking, or keeps the tape from taking paint off. So I'm going to go do the rest of these and then we're going to spray paint it. Now that we've got this mask, you just do what we did the last time, get a new piece of paper, make a tube, and there are other ways to do this as well. You could make a little box where you spray, basically put a hole in a box, push the part of the arrow you want to paint through, and then spray paint it. But this is what I like to do. So now that you've got that covered, I'm going to spray paint this white. I'm going to do one coat, then I'm going to let it dry, 
go through all six, come back to the first one and do my second coat. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, and there's the first coat. Now that I've gone and sprayed it, I've done two coats, so you can see there's a nice, it's nice and white, it's got a good color to it, you can't see the other coat through it. Now you very carefully want to peel off your masking tape. Try not to peel off any of your paint. Let's see how this goes. There we go. Nice clean lines. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and clear coat it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and clear coat this. I'm using a flat clear coat. This is also Krylon. This works really well. I like the way it finishes and I like how durable this finish is. And it's really nice. I like using the flat because it matches the flat of this carbon shaft. Now if you have a gloss finish on your shaft you can use a different clear coat or take the point out, hang this up and clear coat the whole thing. But I'm just going to clear coat about half of this area. So here we go. There it is. So now you just gotta let this dry. I usually let this dry for about, I usually let it dry overnight or at least six to eight hours before I fletch the arrow. And then I like to give it about, you know, at least a day or two before I start shooting it. But for the best results, you're gonna want to not shoot them or just shoot them a couple times and let them sit for about a week. After about a week, the paint will fully cure. And you can also speed it up in between by using your heat gun on a low setting. So here we go. I'm going to finish the rest of these and I'll show you what that looks like when they're all dried and ready to be fletched. 